It's tax January and I'm, and I'm considering paying everything in full on time this time. I momentarily forgot how you live your life. Because they uh, did send what can only be described as a collection agency. <laughs> did they me. really? They did. I didn't you were so they did smug that. about this like six months ago. <laughs> oh, you could just do what you want. It's, yeah, it's t- fine. <laughs> It's the government. It's like student loans. They'll never yeah. find you. They find you and they sell your debt to an agency. Yeah. Seriously, wow. though, mate. They're not getting know, all the money back there. The agency's taking a cut out of that. Outrageous. That's not the point in this scenario. It is the point, though, isn't it? I don't mind paying it them six months too late. I do resent paying a collections agency. <laughs> what I like about this is that like, at least most woolly, progressive, liberal, woke <laughs> losers do things like desperately, frighteningly pay their taxes. You're not even doing that. No, look, I'll uh, <laughs> I will defend my right to be shit at admin. Are you today. Wesley Snipes? Are you the Wesley Snipes of UK podcasting? No, because I'm I'm not willfully avoiding, evading, or not paying them. I'm just sort of going. Well, there's nothing, there's nothing in the cupboard. Lads. How would you describe it? What I know, bearing in mind, I know exactly how much you get paid because it's exactly the same as me. What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? What do you mean? Why are you not paying it? I got four hundred quid broadband. Every month. <laughs> so what you said to the debt collectors? 40, 40 do you want to go? Do you want, do you want to stream a movie? Do you want, <laughs> I can get you anything, anything, yeah. as long as I can get the proper mirror for Pirate Bear that's <laughs> it's somehow available on my on my line. It's, it's I don't think I don't, don't think work. loudly announcing that you're also a big fan of piracy is <laughs> the best way to redeem yourself Different. from those types. Look, they're not how, even. They're lot, the types it, that haven't even been able to be police officers. It's how. It's how. It's how a lot of like you know Bundys and stuff. It's how, it's how a lot of serial killers got got away with it. Agencies don't talk to each other, so the piracy agency is not going to be talking to the the tax evasion uh, agency. No, is but it? they're talking to you. Hmm. I'm not evading my tax. I'm telling them what I'm what I'm owed, but I'm just oh fuck. So you're going to drop it all to them, to them at the end of the month? I will be dropping it all in the end of the month. I tell you what though, Oi. that'll teach them, won't it? That'll teach him. Well, six mean? months six months extra stress for you unnecessarily, and are you going to pay it anyway? Oh, no, I've paid that one, but Luke, I don't mind reminding you, you've got to do it all the time, this tax thing. Yeah. It never ends. It never fucking ends. It's every, <laughs> it's every, every six months, isn't it? It is. Tax doesn't have to be taxing, but it is, in my case. It I'm going to so. file my... Because obviously, for those listening, we are Pete and I are technically self-employed, so mm. I'll file my tax return straight away in April... So mm. I can get it back as soon as possible so I can show a mortgage provider what I'm earning so that I can hopefully move house. Right, okay. That's I thought you just got this you've got this beautiful pile that you you know, the Christmas tree out the window throwing guy. Like I mean you've you've got it all, all going for you. That's you've got all room changed for your big though, car. Mate, what do you mean it's all changed now? The Christmas tree um defense oh, yeah, has you, changed. You need a place to put the Christmas tree in the garden, don't it's you? It's in the you garden already. A, it's in the garden already. Imagine how happy I was. Mm. To A, no longer better do the highlight of the year, which is push the tree out of the uh, window in front of mm. my son for the first time. And B... <laughs> this is what daddy to, does. Have to carry a really heavy, massive, annoying Christmas tree through the entire house and then down the stairs and out into the garden. And So we can use it. it again next year because apparently how, one Christmas tree at a time is saving the planet. How easy is it to replant it? Does it ever go wonky donkey? Or just you've not put enough soil on one side? Or Not my paper, mate. It? Not my not your pay- Oh, you're not even getting involved with it. There's a, gardener, it the- there's a gardener within the home. Right. He's very, very enthusiastic, <laughs> and she's taking care of that. Oh, well, there you go. Then don't worry about that. Then that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I don't. I, I know nothing about gardening, but I don't think that taking the Christmas tree out from its natural environment, shoving it next to a radiator for six weeks, and then putting <laughs> it back in the garden, thinking it's going to grow again, will necessarily work. I'm not an it's expert. Like the, it's like the. It's like the. They're pretty hardy. They're evergreen after all. But I would say, like maybe. You, uh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit like um, the snowman story, the allegory. The, 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 you know, bringing it inside for a bit of warmth and then it melts because it's yeah. not. It, it's not designed to be warm. Supposed to be there. Exactly. Mm. If you love a Christmas tree, yeah. let it stay outside 